Hey you guys, I just got the coolest little flash in from Amazon and it's the uh, Godax TT350. The reason why I got this flash, I'm gonna explain something. The Fuji X-T3 is not a super large camera. It's mirrorless, so it's smaller, it's lighter, it's awesome. Even with the grip on the bottom, it's still smaller. When I have my Canon flash, which is the same size as this flash, my uh, Yanaganuo flash, Yanaganuo, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> when that thing is on here, look how big that is. It's huge. Let me show you. Hand. That's a lot of weight. Makes it top heavy on the camera. And when it's hanging on my side with my little peak, peak design, little doodad, um, it's top heavy and I feel it. The TT350, however, hand, that's impressive. So when this thing is on here, it's not top heavy. And I was noticing, man, how cool is that? <laughs> what I was noticing with my Canon flashes on my Fuji X-T3 was whenever I'm working an event, I'm always shooting on manual mode um, on power, you know, the flash on manual power mode way down to like the second stop, like a 16th or an eighth of power, sometimes lower than that, depending on how high of an ISO I was shooting at. So keeping that big flash turned way down was a use of space, basically. So I did a lot of research and I'm like, you know what, let me get a smaller flash that is fine for the appropriate power I'm actually working in and wouldn't smaller be wonderful. So I just got this in, I have a, a commercial event tonight with a lot of candidates and tomorrow I have a wedding. So absolutely next week I'll have a video showing you the output of this guy, some real usability of the TT 350s. Um, so I am very impressed. And for what, $89? How inexpensive is that? Wow. And it's got the master slave thing happening, so we'll, we'll touch. But there's one thing I don't like about this lens. It's actually the only thing anybody doesn't like about this lens. Um, I understand why you did this Fuji, and I don't understand why you did this Fuji. So on this lens, there is no button from manual to autofocus. The ring, you slot up to automatic mode for your exposures, but not focusing. What they did, if you love being a manual shooter and having that focus peaking when you focus and it's red and it's more red when it's in focus and it's not in focus, it's not red, um, that's wonderful. But here's the deal, you ready? Yeah, hold on. You ready? Forward is autofocus. Back is manual focus. The problem with this is when you're like me and you're interchanging lenses and you're working an event and you're putting your lens on your camera and you go to shoot, now I'm in the habit of making sure that ring is forward. It's It really does become a habit. But I can tell you, there's been a couple of times where I'm like, you know, it's manual focus, so you can take pictures. And I'm sitting there going, these don't look as sharp as they usually do. Yeah, because they're not in autofocus mode. <sighs> Fuji, come on. That's it. That is the absolute only negative thing I have to say about this lens. Um, I use this lens 95% of an event. Um, my zoom kit lens is in the bag. What I don't like about the kit lens is it's only 2.8 at its widest. So when you're zooming in using that zoom feature of your zoom lens, you're going to an f4. And when you're working events that are dark in the room, it doesn't matter how high of an ISO you're using, that f4, man, will just kill you. It just stops you in your tracks. It does. Um, not to say I'm shooting you know, a lot at 1.4, but the difference is it's a 1.4 lens, which means it's big enough to allow a lot of light into the lens. So taking this thing and stopping it down to 1.8 to a two, even a two seems like, what the heck are you doing? Believe me, there's a big difference from 1.4 to a two f-stop on your focus and what is in focus and what is not in focus. That's all I gotta say. So look, 
check out these images that I have from working events and sessions from this lens. I can't say enough about it. The only thing I wish was I had an affiliate link you guys can click. <laughs> So you can go get this lens directly through me. So Fuji knows that uh, GK over here is sending them a lot of love. Come on, Fuji, sponsor my channel, why don't you? <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs>